Night, baby. Do, 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 do. Ooh. So here we go. This is the video about me painting with bleach. You all want to know what it looks like. This is it's what you came here for. And this is there's no clickbait going on here, guys. Here it is. That's what happens. And um, it's I found it to be mildly underwhelming, to be honest. I don't know what I was expecting, but um, you know this was going to be a series of paintings where I do this, and I thought I had illusions of grandeur, delusions of grandeur, where I'd be like the, the bleach guy. Everybody's got to have a thing. Uh, like Tracy Emin, Mr. Bed, Damien Hurst likes fish, and I paint with bleach. I thought everybody was going to be like, yeah, it's the bleach guy. I know you. You, uh, you, you paint with bleach. But, um, I don't know, I'll keep doing it, and it, it, it served its purpose for this painting, um, which is a self-portrait. That's what I look like, if you were to draw me, maybe. Um, it's a picture of me in the shower. I hope that doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel uncomfortable, which is why I do it, because I push myself as an artist. I really get in there and mix up my emotions, exposing myself to the public. That can be that can be my thing. I can just yeah, we can we'll we'll get there. But for now, it's just um, a picture of me. So I drew it all out, and uh, all of the bleach effects are just going to be in the background. Oh my god! I have a duvet over my head. Um, the acoustics in my room are not very good. But apparently, I heard if you stick a duvet over your head, which might just be someone messing with me. We'll find out. But it sorts the acoustics out. It's also incredibly warm. Oh, God. I'm, I'm not even looking at what's happening on the screen, you know? Like, is this... I think I'm probably painting my face right now. The... Uh, one point that I wanted to raise, which I will edit to be happening on screen right now, is that I, I put the colour purple down before I put the other colours down to make the tone, the skin tone, look realistic. Which um, I think it does. But a small caveat to that is that I, uh, I forgot to do it on the other side of my face. And I can't tell the difference. I just added little bits of purple in afterwards because I forgot. Uh, so, you know, you, you got to... You decide which um, how important that is. I mean, I felt really professional when I was doing it, you know. Speaking of professionalism, um, I have no idea what colour purple that is. I don't know what colour... The purple is, I know that I'm using yellow ochre, and I think there's a cadmium red, but I think it's like a violet something, I don't know. Does that make me less, uh, lesser of an artist? Yeah, probably. It probably does. I'll learn them one day, I've only been doing this for ten years now, so I'll, um, I'll get round to it. Um, but... It does look like my skin. The the um, camera I'm using makes my skin look a little bit orange. And one thing I did discover doing this painting was that you can use your own hand as reference. I've never done that before. It's, it's My hand is right there. And I never used it. And that's what my skin looks like. And you can see my hand looks kind of orange as well. Which is proof that it's it's the same. It's the same colour. 
with the uh, the purples. So yeah, I really liked using the texture of the paper as well for the skin tones because there's a lot going on in human skin and you've got this really textured surface right there. So I just used the, um, the side of the brush and you just kind of scrape it on. A bit like a kind of wax resisty sort of effect. It's that idea. It's a lumpy thing and you kind of scrape it along the surface. And I think it looks skin-like, sort of. It adds texture, which, it, which I think it needs. Otherwise, you're just going to be all smooth. And um, as you will have guessed, I have been painting from a reference photo. And as you can see, I, I didn't paint for an exact likeness. Um, more what I was feeling at the time. And I put the blues in there. And I had no idea I was this hairy, by the way. No idea. I mean, that's, that's quite a lot of hair on my shoulders there. That's not good. You know, you, want, you don't want to be hairless as a man. Like, you don't want to be bald like, um, like Jared Leto. That man is... Uh, that man's torso is a problem. But anyway. I kind of screwed this bit up with the shoulder. Um, with I got a bit too excited with my purple effect. And I just put loads on. And then I ended up with a really dark shoulder. Um, so using the... The, the texture of the paper again I, I spent a lot of time with um, a white gauche and I mixed it with some yellow ochre and just used the texture of the paper to try and lighten it up a bit there was a lot of faffing around but um, luckily I was able to cover it up with because it doesn't look really that good but you kind of cover it up with all the hair you know I don't think anybody's gonna know if I unless I told them I don't think so I can see it and it bothers me immensely but I think it's fine I think it's it's all right you know most people have complimented me about the water and honestly it was one of the easiest things that I did you just paint around it, you know. The water bits are lighter and the skin is darker. Yeah. It was easy. It, you know, in comparatively, creating skin tones is harder, I think. I think they are. So there we go. I think we're about rounding this off. I, I can't, I still can't see. So I'm just assuming... I'm ending the video now, and you'll be watching beautiful panoramic shots of my wet face. Um, I won't ask you to like and subscribe. You can if you want, but um, you know, just just have just have yourself a nice day there. Just you know, whatever it is you're doing, just go out there and. Have yourself a good old time. Okay, uh, goodbye. Freeze!